Hello everyone. Our today's topic is uh, session uploading to NPO. So this topic uh, came into my mind uh, after uh, once my manager asked me like why I I don't see all the sessions are being uploaded to NPO. Generally the high end platform from Fortigate like uh, 3700D or 1500D or 4200 means uh, higher than 1500 they have a dedicated chips called NPU so NPU is basically uh, something apart from the CPU which takes care of the sessions and handles the traffic uh, to reduce the load on the CPU so that CPU uh, can be busy in handling other resource or CPU intensive tasks whereas the traffic connections can be passed on to the NPU chip. So depending on the model, the number of NPUs or type of NPU chip can vary based on the model or there are models which don't have a NPU chip at all like all the smaller models maybe 60E, 100F, 101 or 400D, these, these smaller mod models will not have the uh, NPU chip. As I explained or gave a summary uh, in the title slide, uh, so this is just a slide for that, like why sessions are not uploading or only 10, 20 or 40 percent sessions are being uploaded to NPU. So as I told that like, this is because once my manager asked me why I can see that only 45% of sessions are being offloaded to NPU and why not others. So I had to answer this question uh, and uh, I did a research for that. So how you can see or like how this came. Okay, let's go. So if, if you go to the dashboard of your 40 gate firewall on a higher end of course, so you will see like the CPU utilization here and then if you add a widget for sessions you will see the current number of sessions here my sessions and the utilization is very less because it's my lab device so you may not see all the utilizations for this so I, I, I see like I have uh, 67 current sessions but if you see the N turbo N turbo is 0.0, .0 that means none of these sessions are being processed by the npu instead all of these are processed by the cpu so similarly if you see it on a production device where you might have millions of connection or thousands millions of connections on your footage so in that case if the sessions are being offloaded to n turbo or npu that will help to reduce the load on the cpu so you should have more number of percentage to be as offloaded sessions that helps us to maintain the CPU utilization. But sometimes or most of the time you will see you will see that all sessions or very less sessions are being offloaded to the NPU. So I took a deep uh, dive into this, why this is happening or why uh, very less number of sessions are being offloaded. I did a deep dive and came out with all these reasons or the possible causes and how you can know why these sessions are being not offloaded to NPU. What we need uh, to understand or to analyze is this, the output of diaxis session state, command from the FortiGate and diaxis session list so if you if you see if i go to my firewall device i will be able to uh, do a diaxis session state so diaxis session state tells you the number of sessions that are currently on the firewall and all the states so basically why we need this output is uh, to understand how many sessions are currently existing on the firewall so based on that we can correlate so this is like diaxis session output we need then we need the diaxis session list output so diaxis session list output similarly we can have it on the firewall diaxis session list 
so this is going to generate a huge uh, big list depending on the production so this session list gives a complete detail of each sessions that are existing on the fortigate or that are established or are timed out but this is the complete session list on the fortigate so this output we we need to understand the cause why these sessions are not being offloaded and of course uh, the, all the reasons for being not offloading or the sessions are not being offloaded is given on this link if you want you can simply google uh, no offload reason in the uh, in the google or uh, you can go to this link so before understanding like how you will come to know whether sessions are offloaded or not offloaded so they, they, there are flags in each uh, session list so if you go to the access session list you will see a flag called npu state as you can see npu state so this npu state field npu state tells us about whether the session is being offloaded or not whether the session is offloaded or not but how we will know whether it's offloaded so basically the 000 npu state 00 means it's not offloaded and why we don't see here on my firewall because i have a virtual firewall which does not have a npu chip so my firewall doesn't have a npu chip so we will not be able to see that but for, of course i am going to tell you and i am going to show you how you can analyze this so as you see like the flag npu state tells us about the state of the npu okay so whether the session is being offloaded now if i explain these npu flag so these are npu flag tells 00, zero means that ingress and egress esp packets are not offloaded the font here is too small let me make it big at least so that everyone can see yeah okay so if you see the npu flag 00, zero means that ingress and egress esp packets are not offloaded similarly 0, 01 means only the egress packets are offloaded and 02 means that ESP packets will be handled by the kernel and means both ingress and egress packets are offloaded. It's not only about ESP, but it's about all the packets. I, I, I collected these details uh, from some articles. So based on that, I'm defining that. So let me modify this. So these flex tells us like which traffic is offloaded inbound outbound or both okay so now let's go to one of the connection analysis so i took this output uh, from a session list and let us see so it says npu state error equal to 0004 and offload fail reason what is the offload fail reason that this connection is a not established connection means the connection has not completed a tcp handshake or the session is not established fully so that is why this is not established session so you can see uh, like the reason is not established what are the different reasons because of which the session will not be offloaded to npu so these are the different reasons because of which sessions will not be offloaded so if from the connection list output if you grab if you grab no offload reason so you will be able to see all the reasons because of which session is not being offloaded so so first let's just take a simple explanation for all of this so Mac host check is on if the device identification is enabled on an interface. So if the device is not detected, then Mac host check uh, will not allow to offload the session. Connection which came onto the firewall, but 
but that was denied by the policy so it was disabled by the policy known and few interface known and few interface means the connection or uh, the session it came from a source ip and the ingress interface on which this session has been received is not supporting the npu offload so for these generally the examples are software interface so software interface are the example or loopback interface a loopback interface so if you see a software switch in the fortigate uh, software switch created or a loopback created and if you see something from these interfaces then those sessions will not be offloaded See, offload denied helper this will deny if you are using some helpers for the source or for the protocol so some helpers like these can be dns helpers SIP helper so if any of these helpers are configured and any traffic matching these helpers generally dns you will see a lot of dns helpers because because the dns helper is configured by default on the fortigate so generally dns traffic you will see it will not be offloaded to npu these are some examples so there are some around 10 13 helpers which you may or may see in the firewall or if you have removed it from the configuration that varies depending on the configuration then we have block by ips this is the case in in, in this case the connection was it's self explanatory the uh, the session was denied or blocked by ips so it's not offloaded okay redirected to ips in this scenario in this scenario or this case the session is sent to ips for further analysis and will be offloaded based on the verdict based on verdict received no offload reason helper this is similar to offload denied helper then we have local so any traffic any traffic from originated from fortinet any traffic originated from fortinet from FortiGate, I mean, from FortiGate is our local traffic. So generally, uh, the traffic like management, generally traffic like management, FortiGuard updates, or 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 any other management traffic, or any other management traffic will not be offloaded. Then we have blocked by policy. If the traffic is blocked by the policy, then you will see the reason is blocked by policy. And NPU flag off means we we have a option uh, to to disable the offload on a particular policy or on traffic. So if you have disabled the offload, then it will show NPU flag off. Okay, and NPU also this offloading also needs to be disabled while you are taking any packet captures or uh, because if NPU offloading is enabled, then you won't see uh, the uh, packets in the capture if you take the packets in the capture. So hope all reasons are explained. Uh, next time I will try to make a video with a device which has got uh, uh, NPU so that I can explain you. Okay, I, I can show some of these examples now. Wait a second. Yeah. So let's say if I do a diagnosis session list. Okay, this is all the session list. And if you see here, NPU state 00, zero and whether it's ah okay no offload reason here so no offload reason is local 
no offload region local means because it's a management traffic as uh, this is on a local firewall or a management uh, in the lab so this firewall does not have any real traffic so for most of the sessions all these sessions are local you can see no offload region local no offload region local because all this traffic is the management traffic so as you can see no offload region local so similarly in a product send environment you will be able to see the reason for the offload and you can use some grab utility you can use some grab utility okay let, let me do this grab no offload reason so if i grab this you can see all all the sessions are not uploaded because of a local app uh, and you can see here because of mac host check as well so some sessions are because of local and mac but uh, you will not see here any other reason because it's just a uh, lab firewall so hope this will help you to find whether uh, the session is offloaded or not offloaded and if not offloaded then what is the reason for not offloading the session and this will help you to figure out uh, and to improve on the session offloading towards the npu rather than the cpu if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you guys thank you so much bye bye